Okay, I'm back and I'm going to do more Be Never products and um, I think I'll get through all of these Be Never things with the previous video and this one. And so, uh, let's see here. Let's start with some more B soaps. And this one is a, another soap in, in the B scent from Be Never, Too Busy to Be Beautiful. And it's a black soap. And it, I don't know if you can see the ingredients there. This is what it looks like from the front. And it says it has um, grapefruit oil, fennel, rose, jasmine. So again, it's in the B scent, and um, it's a, a different soap that year. It was a black red. Okay, and we have. This Keep It Fluffy uh, Christmas Bobble, I think they call it. This is 2008, and it's uh, this one's a Keep It Fluffy Christmas Soap. And uh, all the Keep It Fluffy products were pink. Um, and their shower gel was pink, and, you know their packaging were pink and so this is for Christmas and it's a little Christmas ornament um, made out of soap with the Keep It Fluffy fragrance and so um, it's really cute they had a couple of these and I don't know if I have uh, the other fragrance but we'll check <clears throat> okay um, here is a piece of this is a real one-offy piece made just for a, a couple of people. It's a it's a two hearts beating as one soap, um, and they did not sell um, um, the two hearts soap, um, and it, it wasn't red like this. Um, so this is a really nice smelling piece of soap with rose and jasmine okay and what else we have oh here's the other here's the two hearts the other two hearts soap uh, Christmas ornament soap and I, and I was wrong apparently because uh, <laughs> the two hearts soap is red um, and I forgot their packaging was indeed uh, dark red so, this is the Two Hearts Christmas Soap, and it has a uh, little gold cross on there, and the same thing on the back. It has this gold on it, you just can't see it because of the seal. And it has the, the B label, and it says Two Hearts Bobble Soap. Let's see if I can show it to you here. <laughs> Whoops. Two Hearts bobble soap and let's see what it says in here okay now I can give you the two hearts ingredients it says um, rose and jasmine two elements that symbolize the body brought together in the sensual all over soap and we have yang yang absolute and now my phone is ringing I'm just gonna let the voicemail get that so excuse the ringing phone for a while. So we have Yang Yang Absolute. We have Bergamot Oil. We have Jasmine Absolute. And we have Geranium Oil. Hello, um, <laughs> And then we have Rose Absolute. So again, it has rose, it has geranium, it has jasmine, bergamot, and yang yang. That is the two hearts scent. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, speaking of two hearts, this is the uh, two hearts beating as one. Let's try to show that to you. Two hearts beating as one. And this is a bubble bar. And uh, both Two Hearts and, let's 
see what else. Two hearts, keep it fluffy, and I'm trying to think what else uh, are the only ones that had bubble bar. Um, keep it fluffy and two hearts, and uh, I think that's I think that's it that, that had the bubble bars. So their packaging used to come like this. I mean, all their products were sold like this. N n so there weren't, you know, like right now with Lush, their gift products come in the decorated things, but not their other products. Well, with Be Never, all the products came in this kind of packaging. And um, I haven't opened it, so but I know it's the bubble bar and um, let's see what it says. Crumble under running bath taps for masses of seductive two hearts fragrance bubbles. And um, keep, keep it fluffy had another um, bu had a bubble bar that was in the same kind of packaging but with different colors. And I believe in the wiki, the Lush wiki that she went and I are making, um, or the what was the other one? The my Lush. Um, forum thread on the North American forum have uh, pictures of the Keep It Fluffy version of this one and also another uh, picture of this one unwrapped so you might want to go look on that uh, Lush NA forum it's in the Connoisseur Cafe section but pretty soon I'll be taking photos of these and putting them in the wiki also aside from the Lush products okay, that was two hearts and we have a, this is one of their first, I think this is opening day, when they first opened the boutique in England. Um, they were giving out these red bee scent soaps, um, and a kind Lushy was able to uh, get one for me. Bless your heart. And... Uh, they were red with a little black bee on them, and it's in the, the bee scent right there. And uh, so that's pretty rare because they didn't, it's a different kind of a, a soap mold that they made these in as opposed to the later products that they were selling. Uh, this one was just for the grand opening. And it has the bee scent, of course. Okay, here is a... Here is something kind of cool. Here is the um, some incense uh, from the, I think these are Om or 10,000 Kisses Deep. I'm not sure. I think it's the 10,000 Kisses Deep. These are incense, and they're paper origami incense. Let me take out a couple for you so you can see what they look like. Okay, we have, hold on one second here, to take this off, okay, here's one, here's one or two, and um, basically these are a thousand kisses deep fragranced incense origami paper, and so you simply, you know, put them in a, a bowl that's made for burning uh, incense and you just light up one of the sides of the paper and as it burns the a thousand kisses in scent comes out in the incense and one of these will totally um, make a room smell really good. Half of these would probably make a room smell really really good. I never used a whole one um, so those are pretty cool. They did a lot of those uh, incense-y type of things at Be Never. Um, they don't really have uh, incense at Lush, although now with the Gorilla Perfumes, there's a couple of, of incense. Um, uh, they're actual, you know, free-flowing incense and uh, with resins and flowers and such, and, and they're not really uh, paper. So anyway, so here are all of these, and somewhere here I have a, a lot, uh, sorry, a uh, another kind of incense that Be Never sold in the Two Hearts fragrance, and that incense was, it was a charcoal-based uh, incense, and 
it was in the shape of a heart and it came in a, a little um, wrapped yellow iridescent paper and so you could light it and the heart and the paper would smell of um, two hearts fragrance so that was really cool and let's see what else here okay here's some of the I thought I had more of this it's probably in another container but here's a couple of the Be Never um, eyeshadow and lip color um, tints or cases and this one I think they had eyeshadow and lip color in, in these tapes I had a soap fall down fall down and these are cool because they were covered with um, what is that called gold foil and um, so when you opened it up when it was new it would all you would see was gold and um, in the sh in a, in a raised kind of a, a logo pattern and then as you got into the lip lip color the gold foil would break away so these were really cool I loved the gold the gold leaf that was in uh, that covered the top and Oops, it would be nice if I was actually trying to put it on the correct way instead of trying to fit it <laughs> incorrectly. So you can see this one, and this is called this is called Bellflower Lip Cream. And you can see, let me see if I can make this focus. You can see it says Carnaby Street on it, which is really cool. Here's another one. And this one is Beaten Copper Lip Cream. Let me open that one for you. And this is a darker rust kind of color of lip cream. And again, it has the, the gold leaf because it was covered with gold leaf when you open it. And the little tins are really cute. And um, let's see. Here is um, Here are some atomizers of the fragrances there. Um, here's Breath of God. Now, um, you know, um, Be Never sells, or, sorry, Lush sells a Breath of God Gorilla fragrance. Um, and this is where it, that scent came from. They first made it a Breath of God scent when they were, uh, it was a scent at B. And so this is the atomizer for that. And it, they came in a little organza um, pack with it a flower tie on them to reclose it and let's see if I can get the, the breath of God and it has um, vetiver, yang yang, cedar wood, lemon oil, rose oil, grapefruit oil, black pepper, sandalwood, and cade oil so just just like the the breath of God fragrance that Lush sells now as a Gorilla Perfume. And here is the Breath of God body oil, uh, bath oil, sorry. And it's, um, let's see if you can see it here. It says Breath of God bath oil. Uh, if you can see it there. And so um, they, of course, don't sell this anymore, but they did sell it at Be Never. And, um, it, it had a label, this uh, which is was the same print as the Breath of God that was on the atomizer, and it's just it's Breath of God in a in a wonderful bath oil, and and they had bath oils at Be Never. They had one a bath oil in, in the Om scent, which I really liked, and these are strong scents and they stay on your skin a really long time. And this is the last bottle that I have that. Okay, the next fragrance is, here's a Two Hearts um, atomizer. And you can see it says uh, you can see the address and whatnot there. And that's the Two Hearts fragrance. It's the same fragrance as um, this guy right here. And uh, this soap. Where's the soap? For? So here's some some Two Hearts products. Oh yeah, and then there's the uh, 
two hearts bath powder too. So we've got two hearts bath powder, we have two hearts bubble bath, we have two hearts soap, and we have two hearts fragrance atomizer. And then we have the love atomizer, love fragrance. Uh, that was the other fragrance that I was trying to think of that were their core seven or eight fragrances that they never. Love was one of them. They sell this at Lush now as a Gorilla Perfume. And, um, but they had it, started selling it back then. And um, Love is uh, even more of a fruity kind of a scent. Uh, it doesn't have the ingredients here. But um, it's very, it's very sweet. It's very berry-like. It's very girly. And uh, uh, there's a few love soaps in here. There was a a bubble bar for this at Be Never, and it was called Love Apple Bubble Bar, and it looked like um, looked like a little apple. It was red and green, and it had a little leaf sticking on it, and a cinnamon stick through it. So it, it actually looked like an apple with a stem and leaves and it had the apples and cinnamon scent of love. So I think you guys would love the love apple. Um, if you like So White or um, hmm, maybe Poison Girl or um, a couple of the other few apple scents that they make, you, you would love love. Okay, and here is a fragrance called Assassin. That was the other fragrance uh, that I was thinking of. So uh, this one is more of a unisex scent, and um, they don't sell this. They discontinued the Assassin line altogether before they even closed B. So, um, and it's more of a kind of a spicy scent. Okay, and then we have the Alm scent. Fragrance atomizer, and that's the one I was telling you about. That is very incensey and and is kind of a strong, like a temple fragrance. Um, and they had the there's a couple of here's the Alm um, um, bath powder cone, and they had they also had a shower gel. All these fragrances here that I've shown you all had a shower gel associated with them, and they were uh, the big 500 gram shower gels with real pretty paper um, and labels on them and they were colored associated to the products like the two hearts one was red and the keep it fluffy one was pink and the cocktail one was a kind of a light purple the bee scent was gold the thousand kisses deep was green etc etc and so here's the bee scent that I love so much um, I have I had the bee scent and every possible kind of product. And this is the atomizer. And there is the, here's the Thousand Kisses Deep atomizer, and which is also a Gorilla fragrance now for Lush, as I understand. And um, this one's, of course, empty because I love it so much. Loved it so much. There's a Two Hearts, I don't know, if, did I already show you that one? It's a Two Hearts, um, fragrance atomizer in, in the two hearts range. And then here is, um, did I show you this already? Um, this is a Breath of God. I think I did already show you this, or maybe I have two. And then, uh, there's not very much more here. There's a, a Keep It Fluffy um, label for the bubble bar. And here's a really old, old soap in the shape of a fish and there were uh, red blue green and yellow um, look like M&M candies or fruit candies right here and it's a fish and this is a as I recall a cocktail fish and it was a green colored like this on the edge and the pretty little things that's a soap and then we have a um, the bee scent um, ballistic and that's in this package here, and I haven't opened it yet. Um, basically, it's a you know it's a square ballistic with some um, kind of gold glitter on the top, and it's really gorgeous. And I the only reason I'm not 
showing you now because I didn't want to open this one. Um, this is one of my last ones, and I may decide to, uh, you know, give it to someone, and I wouldn't want everything to be all, all open from the original packaging. Um, and if I have another one, which I thought I did, that's open, I'll show you what the ballistic look like. Okay, I think that, I think, oh, no, we have more. <laughs> Here is the Bee Scent Body Oil. And um, this was a, a, you can see it's a glittery body oil. And you just kind of shake it up. And um, it put kind of a shimmer on your skin when you would use it in the bath. And it had that lovely fennel and grapefruit um, bee scent. And it has the same ingredients as the other bee scented items. And I only have, yeah, one more bottle of this. So, ah. And then we have, this is an original Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful shower gel. Um, I mean, wow, this is like the original bottle when they, the first day they opened, they did have the be never to be uh, be never too busy to be beautiful sh honey shower gel s shower gel sold at B this is the only time they did this when they first opened and then as I said in another video they um, they no longer sold be never too busy to be beautiful uh, gel at be never and they also stopped selling it at lush so it started at lush and then um, Lush opened up another store with the name of it, so Lush got rid of it, but um, they introduced this at the opening of it, and then they got rid of it and replaced it with the Bee Scent, which has nothing, they don't smell in any way alike. This is Honey, 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 and Cassie, and this is Grapefruit and Fennel. So, um, wow. So this, I only have one more bottle of this. So that's, that's pretty awesome. It's pretty hard to find. Here is a Bee Scent uh, shower gel. And this is what the shower gel bottles used to look like. And it has a, kind of a gold shimmer in there. I don't know if you can see it. And so um, I just have one more bottle of this too. And so I kind of like to layer this scent, you know, I'll have the shower gel with the soap and, and some of the perfume and then, you know, a ballistic. So, okay, now that for sure, it, I believe it as far as the Be Never stuff that I have. Um, if I find another two or bits and bobs, I'll show them in, in a video with, with other Lush stuff. So, that's it. If you have any questions about the Be Never items or the scents, feel free to ask me uh, questions on, on this YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time when I'll be doing another Lush category soon. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.